Smelling, schmelling. In an internet-enabled spell check world where a squiggly red line automatically shows up under any incorrect word, the new rule to remember is I before E, except when you swim within 30 minutes after eating, or something like that. The point is, it doesn't matter. Or does it? We're running down three ways bad spelling can hurt you in real life. Let's start with your professional life. Monster.com career expert Vicky Salemi says bad spelling's an easy weed out in a job hunt. It could be game over. And here's a reality check. I had an instance where someone went through the interview process with flying colors. They misspelled one word in a thank you note, and they did not get the job. Ouch. So, of course, triple check the cover letter and resume, but also stop asking for forgiveness in advance. Even if you have a line that says, please forgive typos on my phone, there's no excuse for typos. Take a breath, review your email or text before you hit send, and make sure it's 100% free of any spelling errors. Remember, spell check's not infallible. I've seen cover letters where people would misspell simple words like job. They may have been in a rush and spelled it J-O-G, job, that did not get picked up by spell check. And if you want them to, you know, pay you, here's an idea. Make sure you spell the company's name correctly. Because, yeah, company names can be goofy. And those people you're sucking up to at that company? I used to get my name misspelled when candidates would email me. For the love of Pete, people, if you're replying to an email, scroll down two inches to confirm the names. Are they not detail-oriented? Do they just not care? What's going on here? And it's not just individuals. Branding expert Allie Craig says spelling errors can tarnish a company's reputation. Many brands don't really recognize how negative a misspelled word can actually be to their brand's bottom line. There are more spelling errors because of the sheer volume of content and platforms. When it comes to social media, there is a smidge more forgiveness, but we all know there's the Karens out there that will tell every brand about any typographical error. The bottom line is that bad spelling can hurt the bottom line. A lot of brands don't recognize that proper grammar still matters and emojis don't cover all sins. Finally, according to dating expert Carmelia Ray, bad spelling can even ruin your love life. When it comes to online dating, spelling and grammar actually matter. A 2019 study by the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships found that language errors had, quote, a negative effect on perceptions of physical attraction. That's right. They'll think your profile pic is uglier if your bio has misspellings. It only takes three to seven seconds to form a first impression. So proofread your profile and keep it a little more formal in any early messages back and forth. Ladies and gentlemen do not like slang. They prefer educated, sophisticated language. And yes, women are pickier because they can be. An earlier study by Grammarly and eHarmony found that women get 17 times more messages than men. And men with misspellings get 14% fewer matches. Take it from a dating expert. Spelling matters. The real life consequences of poor spelling are at the top of the list.